All right, shalom, shalom, shabbat shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and shalom to the Akim and the Akwath out there, listening and learning, increasing in the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. I wanted to get into uh, this real quick, you know, uh, inspired by the video from uh, Elder Apostle Tahar, uh, mentioning that, you know, Vocab Malone always goes to to these Israelite camps, you know, to try and dispute and bring confusion and, and madness, you know, screaming and all kinds of confusion that he brings, you know, and um, there's never really any edification, you know, coming out of this, you know, there is no edification coming out of this man um, or any of them that, you know, come out to these camps. And like Elder Apostle Tahar says, scripture talks about, you know, um, shaking the, the, the dust off your feet. You know, off of one city, they don't want to listen. Where they hear forbear, you move on to, to the next. You know, so, you know, when we go out to the highways and byways, or when we meet people, and and you know they they're interested in, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because that's really what what starts a lot of people is is interest. You know, um, then, you know, we build on it slowly. If they don't want to listen, they don't want to hear it. Then they're not going to hear it, man. You know, but those that are that move in fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they they hearken to that to the hearing. You know, like um, you know, whenever you're in um in in combat, you know, say you go to war, all right, and your soldiers, you know, that follow you, you know, if they're um if they neglect what what you say, you know, most likely they end up getting killed. You know. But those soldiers that hearken and, and pay attention to what you're supposed to do, pay attention in training, you know, so on and so forth. Those are the ones that are that are afraid to die. You know, they're afraid to die. So they're going to try and follow the rules, you know, and that's what we're doing. We're, we're afraid, you know, to to gain our life in this world and, and lose it in the kingdom of heaven. You know, so we hearken to the words that you have by Shem Yahweh Shai. So we what we do is follow after him. You know, but people like Vocab Malone, they go after their own, their own belly, man. You know, they just want to be heard and be seen and, and feel important. You know, you have a lot of people that follow after him and, you know, compliment him and, you know, all kinds of, all kinds of folly, you know, when he brings no edification through prophecies, brings no edification through uh, who we are as a people, you know, who the kingdom of heaven pertains <laughs> You know, and, and what all that stuff is 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 really pertaining to, you know. But um, this is Jonah three and one. It says, "And the word of Yahweh came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, the great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee." All right, and the preaching that Yahweh Shai, all right, Yahweh Shai brings to us through the Spirit is talking about the death. And destruction of Babylon the Great, all right, the uprising of the kingdom of heaven, all right, which are the Israelites, and um, you know the uh, uh, the turning back, you know the repentance, you know. So Vocab Malone and all these other Christians and, and and really the world has a problem with us because we no longer want to follow rap culture, you know. We no longer want to fall uh, being comedic. We no longer want to fo uh, follow being a, a Hispanic. You know, and the standard that it, that that the Westernized world comes with, you know, we don't want to follow after that anymore, you know, because we were told the truth, and now we turn to you. How about Shimei was shy? All right, like Scripture says, you know, um, when wisdom calls out, you know, you'll hear it behind you, saying, "This is the way." You know, that's that's what happened. We were going down the wrong path. We heard the wisdom, turned back around, and we started following after you. How about Shimei was shy? You know, and he told us to go out there and preach. You know, the men. The women are not supposed to be out there preaching. You know, it's supposed to be the men. The men are out there in the highways and byways preaching the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, and that's what you see at Great Millstone. We're out there teaching and preaching and breaking down scriptures, you know, going into certain certain aspects of the scriptures. You know, and that's what we do. We don't do what Volcan Malone does. And, you know, we don't we don't go out to other Israelite groups and try to convert them to, you know, to being uh, uh, the true followers of the Lord by you know, following after us or, or whatever the case is, 
You know, we simply go out to the highways and byways, do our job, do what's required of us by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, preach the gospel, all right, in season and out of season. That means when it's cold outside, when it's hot outside, or that means when you you have a cold or when you have a even a fever sometimes, man. You know, brothers are still going out there to the highways and byways, man. You know? So Jonah was given a thing to go out and preach, okay, that the Most High bidded him. So verse 3, it says, So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh, according to the word of Yahweh. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city for three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, uh, yet 40 days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And that's another thing, man. The 2000 year, you know, 2012 year, you know, the, the saying the end was the, the end was coming. All right. By year 2000, you know, they want to bring that up a lot. And I made a video about that a while back, you know, um, but, you know, it's in that same spirit that Jonah was in, you know, in that same spirit that Jonah was in, you know, uh, of the overthrowing. You know, and it didn't get overthrown in the in the forty, um, in the um, in the forty days. You know, it got overthrown way later, but it did happen according to the book of of um, uh, so like I can't Tobit. According to the book of Tobit, Nineveh did fall eventually. You know, and Tobit was able to see that because it said he believed the words of the prophet Jonah. You know, so eventually it will happen. But that's what was given to Jonah. And that's what Jonah did. You know, this is a uh, book of Matthew 12 and 39. But he answered and said unto them, an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. And there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of Jonah the prophet. All right. But the sign of the prophet Jonas, you know, and that's what a lot of people want. A lot of people, when they when they come into this thing they expect something you know miraculous to start happening and you know i started seeing chariots and i started seeing visions and and all this stuff that that's what they're expecting you know that's what they're expecting not knowing the true calling for this is not to to see those miracles happen you know but it's for you to go out to the highways and byways and do what was bid thee to preach you know afterward those miracles happen you know, you might spot a chariot, one or two brothers will spot chariots and put a post them up, you know, um, salvation. When salvation comes, those chariots will come. You'll be able to see that then, you know, uh, um, spiritual, uh, spiritual powers. You're not going to get that just by, you know, joining uh, great millstone. Oh, you, you have spiritual power now, you know, and that's not what we bring. That's not the type of energy we bring, man. The type of energy we bring is urgency. You know, you see Elder Apostle Tahar, how he makes at least, you know, 10 videos a day. You know, he has a sense of urgency, you know, a sense of urgency, something that was bid to him. You know, we should we need to carry on in that same stead. You know, making videos, studying, reading, listening, you know, like they always say, you have two ears and one mouth. You should be listening more than you're speaking. Right. So that sign is going to be given to them, but it's only going to be the sign of the prophet Jonas, which is what? A preaching. That's what it's always been. It's always been a preaching, you know, out in the highways and byways. Matthew 16 and 4, a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. See, they want us to start floating out there in the highways and, you know, doing all this kinds of stuff. And it's not going to happen. And there shall no sign be given unto it, you see, but the sign of the prophet Jonas and he left them and departed which is what a preaching again you know a prophet's going to prophesy right so that's the only sign that they're going to get man and you have people like Volcat Malone saying you you got to prove you're an Israelite and, and prove this and prove that and you know but whenever he says that he has the truth you know in his own words he can't break down a single scripture man you know so this whole thing is about what you see you know, to to the Christians and to uh, Volcan Malone, that's that that's their whole thing. What they see, uh, you don't look like you're an Israelite, so I'm not gonna call you an Israelite. You know, you don't look like you're uh, you don't look like you're gonna uh, uh, 
you don't have spiritual power, so you're not going to get spiritual power. You don't look like, you know, this. You don't look like that. Going based off of the flesh. But as scripture says, okay, the spirit beareth witness with our spirit, right? Because we have the spirit of truth, you know? We don't go out there in the highways and byways for, you know, for people to look at us and be some type of celebrity, you know? We're not looking for, for, for any of that. You know, for what we're looking for is our salvation, man. You know, continuing through the fear and the trembling. Okay, continuing through the righteous fear and trembling that we have for this truth, for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and the respect we have. You know, because that's all this is about. You know, it's not about visiting other camps and, you know, I want to meet Elder. Well, you know, when I first started, I did want to meet Elder Apostle Tahar, you know, because. You know, it was just something incredible to me seeing the apostles and the elders, you know, being been teaching for that long and, and been doing this thing for that long, man. You know, so it was something incredible to me and I did want to meet him at first. But then, you know, I came to the to the realization that we're not in this thing for a sub, for, for a celebrity sake. You know, we're not in this thing to be recognized and and oh, wow, this this brother is such a great brother and this, this and that, you know, we're here to do our job, man. You know, and that that's plain, plain and dry, you know. So our thing is, is just to prophesy, you know. So let me go into that word prophesy or preaching. Which let me let me line this one up. Let me line this one up real quick. So let's go to Nineveh to preach. To call out, to recite, to read, to cry out, proclaim, okay, the words of truth. It's not talking about, you know, to to go in and, and, and uh, you know, go to other camps. Preaching doesn't mean to go in and, and into a Chuck E. Cheese and be preaching in there in the Chuck E. Cheese, man. You know, that's folly. And you do have dudes that, that would go out there and do that, you know, but that's not what this thing is about, you know, to read aloud to read to oneself, read to summon, to invite, to call for, call and commission, appoint, call and endow, to call, to name, to give name to, call by. You see, this is First Ezra 1 and 50. Nevertheless, the Most High, the God of their fathers, sent by his messenger to call them back because he spared them and his tabernacle also, but they had his messengers in derision and look, when the Lord spake unto them, they made sport of his prophets. You see, so the Most High always spoke unto Israel by way of prophets, by way of men. You know, that's how the Most High speaks to you. So if you're waiting for the Most High to come down and tell you, hey, stupid ass, get off your ass and start doing this and start doing that and you need to do this. You're not going to hear it. You know, but you're not going to have an excuse at the end of the day, you know. Whenever Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai comes back, because you heard it through the prophets, they let you know what you had to do. You see, so he spoke through the prophets and by the prophets, you know, and the people made fun of his prophets, and that's what's happening now with Vocab Malone and with all these other, you know, Israelites and, and wannabes and you know all these other people, man. You know, they're going to make fun of you. And at the end, there's going to come a division. The sheep from the goats. And the Most High is going to say, these were my chosen the whole time. All right. Like this one dude said, Great Millstone is the most hated camp out of all the Israelites. Yeah, I wonder why. You know, I wonder why. Because all we worry about is the scriptures. We go into the scriptures. Somebody's going off. We're going to correct it. We're going to go into the scriptures and prove it. And that's it. But they want to get into an argument and, oh, you got to call us up and, you know, we're going to come into a discussion and we're going to. That's not what this is about, man. You know, but they want to be seen. They want to be famous. There's another dude um, that I've seen him on various brothers channels. He goes in there and says, oh, you messed up on this breakdown and you messed up on that breakdown. And then when you come back and say, no, I didn't this, this and that. Oh, well, you're welcome to come by my live stream. He's just trying to get followers, man. And that's how people are. You know, and that's not what this thing is about. This thing means to call out and proclaim this this beautiful truth that we have, man. You know, that's it. You see, just do our job, man. When you go to a job, you know, and and you uh, 
and and you're doing too little right you're not doing what you're supposed to what's the boss going to say just do your job man you're not going to get in trouble you know you're doing too much all right trying to go do everybody else's job and try to do this and try to do that or not doing anything at all you know there has to be a balance just do your job you know and that's what we're doing man you know so i hope that was at a fine that was a quick hit like i said and with that i want to give all honor glory and praise unto you how about shimmy i was shy but hashem rakakwadash shalom